大家好，今天这个视频超级干货，因为我给大家总结了英文面试当中最常见的十大问题、答题要点和满分案例，所以一定要记得点赞、收藏、关注我哦，这样可以收获更多职场和英文面试的干货。让我们赶紧开始吧。Don't summarize everything on your resume. Instead, your answer should be who you are professionally, what your biggest accomplishments are. And how you can transfer the skills, experience, and expertise to this new position and be successful. I'm a credit risk analyst with two years' experience in credit risk analysis and reporting function with one of the big five banks. I develop proficient technical skills with strong working knowledge of SQL and Excel, and apply the knowledge to my day-to-day -day data analysis work. I initiated a project to streamline and automate the reporting process, and saved the internal runtime by three days. I also led a project to analyze the pandemic's impact on the portfolio, and presented my insights and recommendations to the senior executive. For my educational background, I graduated from XYZ University, majoring in commerce and hold CFA designation. I'm very excited about this opportunity. I believe the combination of my experience, my skills, and my passion about this job makes me a strong asset to your team. The key thing to do to prepare this answer is to do research about this company. Once you have done your research, here are three things you should include in your answer. First, show you are passionate about this company or job. Second. Show you are the solution to their problems. Third, your answer need to be personable and specific. I want to work here because I recently read your company's annual report that one of your core values is to empower your employees. I'm impressed that your organization invests in your employees' growth and well-being. I connected with people working in your company. And they talked a lot about how they feel supported, trusted, and engaged. The inclusive culture is exactly what I'm looking for from a future employer. When I read the job description for this role, one of the things that particularly appealed to me was your company values creativity and innovation. Having worked in marketing for years, I'm confident my unique and creative ideas will contribute to projects. And the company's broad business objectives in a productive manner. Here are the three most important parts that you should include in your answer. First, name the strengths based on the job description. Second, use examples to demonstrate your strengths. Third, show how you can use these strengths for this new role. I feel my strongest quality is my ability to effectively communicate with stakeholders and customers, and establish a good relationship with them. In my previous role as a sales manager, I received several positive feedbacks from my manager and clients. One of them was solving a difficult situation with a tough client who had a bad experience before with the company. I took the initiative to visit them in person and listen to their frustrations. I also leveraged my professional knowledge to suggest a better approach to communicate and cooperate in the future, including weekly touch points and regular in-person meetings. I made them feel they are valued and their business is being appreciated. They also gave me the highest customer experience score. I'm sure these strengths will help me perform well in this new role, since I understand clients' needs from diversified backgrounds and effectively communicate with them to deliver high-quality services. First, prepare your weakness related to your professional competencies, not your personal trait. Second, explain how you have improved on your weakness. Three. Prepare at least two to three weaknesses for your interview. Public speaking has always been my weakness, as I'm a shy person by nature. I have a difficult time speaking up in group settings. Even when I have good ideas, I feel nervous speaking them out and tend to keep them to myself. I realized this is an important skill for my current role. 
so I decided to work up on it. I connected with my manager and other co-workers that are good at public speaking seeking their advice. I also observed how they present themselves in meetings and take notes of my observations. I also took a public speaking course, which made a big difference and helped me a lot. Now I still feel nervous sometimes at public speaking, but it won't help me back when I feel my opinions are meaningful and appropriate. I feel more confident and comfortable to add value to the meetings and discussions. I even started presenting to senior executives on a regular basis. To answer this question, here are the three parts you should include. First, your short-term and long-term career plans. And second, the skills you would like to develop and the goals you would like to achieve in this role. And third, of course, your passion about this job. And also remember, don't mention any irrelevant plans or the specific titles that you would like to achieve for this role. In the first two to three years, I see myself becoming a subject matter expert on loss forecasting. I plan to leverage my strong technical background and data analytical experience, really get to know the portfolio, products, and forecasting process. I would also like to continue to develop my communication and interpersonal skills and build up connections with stakeholders at different levels. For the two to three years after that, I look forward to becoming a key member of the team and being able to lead projects from end to end. By taking on expanded responsibilities, I would have the opportunities to develop my project management and leadership skills, which will pave the way for my future career development and add more value to the team.